You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes. Let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. It's time now for the bonus hour with Dan Ferris, and we've got him in the studio here. How you doing, sir? Doing all right. Doing doing all right. Just waiting, waiting for spring like the rest of the Midwest. Oh, no. You know, it'll be here before you know it. Um, was just talking to somebody about uh, an event that's coming up this summer, and they're like planning it. And I just kept thinking, how weird is that to be planning a summer event where we're going to be in shorts and everybody's going to be hot and sweaty, um, and we're planning it now when it's freezing cold out? That, you got to start if you're going to do it right. Yeah, you do. You know, it just seems so weird that that's you know a couple months away. We're going to be complaining about the heat then, but right now we we still got plenty of time to complain about the snow. You know what? I don't complain about the heat. You don't? I don't. I'll keep that in mind in July. No, I'm a heat guy. I kind of love it. Well, I'm a Leo. You know, and that's the sun sign and lion and all that. So Really? It doesn't so bother me at all. So you don't get hot? Well, who doesn't get hot? But I don't complain. I enjoy the sun. I enjoy the heat. I, I like it a no, lot. No, I spend the summer months basically, and maybe you don't go downtown anymore, but I'm the guy in the uh, loincloth. <laughs> that's it. I'm good. <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. Yeah. <clears throat> you got a little, little thing of ice water. It's the interesting thing is... Uh, <laughs> On his on his resume, which I happen to have a copy of right here, oh, perfect. It literally just has his birth date, and then it says "man in loincloth," and somehow we still hired him. <laughs> so. Well, it's fine. I, I did a resume, and we just riddled with lies, so I tossed it. <laughs> you know, I had to type up an intro one time where they were going to introduce me. I was the guest speaker. Well, that's tough. So I just decided I started typing it up, and I was like, I feel really pretentious doing that. I'm like, you know, what do you even say on there? So I, I finally just kind of hit backspace, went all the way back, and, and just made fun of myself for the entire thing. I was like, yeah, that'd be better. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's not a rosy, happy introduction. It's basically when I walk out, I'm like, well, it was either this or therapy. So uh, here I am. You just make stuff up, though, and if you deliver yeah. it correctly. And I tend to make stuff up a lot. I noticed this. I, <laughs> I really can't even help it. Like, I left Sioux Falls uh, 2008, came back in 2000. So I was gone for a couple years. Yeah. You know, and those uh, just – small little handful of folks who actually noticed when I <laughs> when I came back I said, what? well like you, you were gone right I said yeah well what were you and I said well I, I joined touring uh, touring production of Riverdance <laughs> and they're like oh oh yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even know you could dance I don't even like Riverdance <laughs> clomping around stop it knock it off man <laughs> Well, speaking of manly things, uh, we've got manly men doing manly things in a manly fashion coming up. I don't think Riverdance is really that manly of a thing. (laughs) I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt there, Dan. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris right now on Sunny 93.3. You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Excuse me, haven't I seen you on the MTV? On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Time now for Manly Men, doing manly things in a manly fashion. We're men among men and manly men, yes, manly men are we. We're men among manly men among manly manly men. Especially this time of year, but any time of year. And guys, and hey, ladies, too, you know what? They are not an arm and a leg. Buy some jumper cables. Oh, yeah. And learn how to jumpstart your vehicle. Okay, here's the thing you got to know. Red is positive. Uh-huh. Black is negative. Yep. And and uh, I didn't make that up, I, so, you know, don't blame me. That's just the way it works. Well, well me, me and you uh, hooked up the cables to, yeah. my, to my truck just a month ago. And, yep. and here's what I was taught. Um, when you're hooking up jumper cables, the vehicle that has the battery that's dead, right. hook that one up second. Yep. So uh, what I've always done is I've, you know, take the other end, you know, that you're, you're hooking up the jumper cables, make sure they're not clipped to each other. <laughs> that's a darn good idea, too. If you <laughs> are, seen are sparking, oh, I've seen batteries explode. Oh, yeah. I've seen, I've seen, you know, some people have been blinded by doing so, it wrong. That's a true story. So hold one end in one hand and hold the other end. Make sure that they're not touching because if you do that's that's not a good way to start Correct. but then get them clipped on they're really good and then go clip them on the other one and uh i guess jump what about yeah or, or what you <laughs> can do you know hook you don't up physically the, have to jump hook but. up the negative and the positive to the working battery with that engine running and hook up the negative to the dead battery and then just to be safe if it's convenient just clip 
that remaining positive clip onto the neighbor's cat. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just to make sure it's working. <laughs> no. You can't touch it on your tongue if you want to see if – don't do that either. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Buy some cables. I, it's amazing how many times I've been approached in my lifetime with some, oh, yeah. do you have any cables? Do you have any cables? Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, let's They're let's cheap. Do do you, so, yeah. What's your best jump, jumper cable story? Do you have a good one of something that really weird that happened? I, don't, I actually watched a, a battery explode on my older brother, Oogie. Who? wow. Yeah, he was wearing safety goggles, and it was not his oh, fault. It was goodness. kind of a freak deal. But uh, but that can happen, yeah. I grew up in Huron, South Dakota. It was a freezing cold winter morning. And I went out and started my truck because it was so cold. And then I'm going to start it and warm it up. And then I get this knock on my window. And there's this dude staring at me, like just the dead eyes, staring me right in the face. And that's why we carry guns, John. Well, and, right. And he had socks on his hands. Oh, all right. He wasn't ready. And he said... <laughs> I need you to jumpstart my car. And then he just proceeded to come around and get in my truck. I didn't invite him in. I didn't wow. say yes. So I went down, and uh, he lived in a trailer house. I lived in a trailer house at the time with my brother. And we went, he's like three trailers down from us. This is the kind of story that only happens in a trailer park. <laughs> this, this story sounds like a serial killer. So I get situation. down there, and we try to jumpstart his car, and it didn't work. And he goes, yeah, my, uh, my nephew put a hex on my car. I'm like, no, it's like 13 below zero. But he said, hey, come inside. And I'm thinking... That's probably a bad idea. But for some stupid reason, I did anyway. And I walk in this guy's trailer, and I'm not even kidding you, Dan. It smelled like burnt something. And I'm looking into the kitchen area, and the top of the stove had been removed, and there were four flames shooting up on this gas stove. Like the stove had. It was just heat the place, John. Four flames. (laughs) And there was burnt up stuff all over in his kitchen. And he goes down the hallway. He jets down the hallway, and I'm thinking, he's going to get a knife and kill me or something. So as he's coming back out of the hallway, I'm backing towards the door, and uh, I, he, I'm looking at this burned up stuff. He goes, yeah, my, uh, my nephew put a hex on all of that. I had to burn it. And I was like, well, you can keep those jumper cables, and then I left. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of creepy. I thought for sure I was going to die that day. So you bring this stuff on yourself, and you haven't changed a bit, by the way. I know. Thank you. I would probably do it again. Oh, he goes, thank you. <laughs> I would probably do it again tomorrow. So anybody that wants to, you know, check and see just how gullible John is. It's hey, good manly ask. men looking for mentors, check it out. Read up on George Washington. Check out Tim Tebow, Clint Eastwood, and don't skimp on the Jesus Christ. There you go. There That's you go. right. Some good manly tips. Coming up, we've got water cooler talk. That's all on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. We're men among manly, men among manly, manly men are we. Come on, men. Let's kill it. What are we, women? You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. You heard it on your Walkman radio? On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. It's time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. We had uh, the gentleman from Aqua One, the Aqua Dude, here on Friday. Chad Halverson, he Good is, dude. he is, he's lurched about my basement. Has he? Yep. He, he, he may be there right now. <laughs> he may be there now. Well, I think it's cool. They'll actually bring salt to your house. They'll carry it in for you. They'll even put it in the water. No, it was about for you. gosh, almost three years ago. Now I got uh, I got hacked off at my uh, at my uh, water conditioning vendor, and one thing led to another. And I got a hold of Aqua One Chad, the Aqua Dude, and his dad Craig over there, and said, "Hey, man, this is what's going on." And uh, Chad came over to my house and removed the old system, nice. everything else. Not that, it, and it was being leased. And but he took care of it. He got it back to the company. Put in the brand new. It's been wow. fantastic. I absolutely. That's love amazing it. service. That's very cool. Well, yeah. I mean, he took care of absolutely everything. That is awesome. So it should be. Yeah. It's so one sf dot com. And we've got our water cooler talk right now. What are we going to talk about today? This is well. You know, the, the entire city has just been in an uproar over the shop goes closing. Mm-hmm. You can't go anywhere in this town. Yeah. <laughs> without somebody going. <laughs> Hey, you hear about Shopco? <laughs> it's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, I wanted to get a bath mat. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Where will I get one now? Well, the buzz originally was the I one on... I actually really like Shopco. I, I know. Hear. The one on... Uh, I bought my pillows at Shopco. <laughs> That's nice. I did, yeah. You're the reason they're closing, Dan. <laughs> but, uh, it's because of you that they're closing. But they said they were going to close them all in Sioux Falls. And they said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. The one on 41st is going to stay open. Well, no, now it's now it's not. I think that really sucks that they said yes. Now they're saying no. It's not. But here's here's how this has transpired now. Uh, just caught an article in, in the Argus <coughs> Leader. Lewis Drug has just 
purchased mm. all the pharmacy assets mm. from the Shopko stores oh. in six different communities in South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. So will they just merge that into their current pharmacies, do you think? Or are they going to put something yeah, in the buildings? Yeah, all the files and, and all. Well, well, the big deal is when they say, you know, the pharmaceutical assets is basically is, is all the drugs. So maybe they're just paying, you know, like a dime yeah. on the dollar for whatever, Buy, whatever. Meds. So it's a major drug deal is what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. So El Chapo <laughs> <laughs> just gets busted on 10 counts, going to be serving life. And then is anybody else? El Luiso. Yeah. El Luis. Else piecing this together? Luis drug has taken over the, uh, the market that has been left behind by That's El a good Chapo. kind of drug deal, though. That's a really good thing. And, and Lewis, I think that's a pretty cool company. They're, I love Lewis. One of yeah. the greatest companies uh, in, in the Midwest. I've known Mark Griff for almost... 30 years. Fantastic. And you can tell them we said that. Great family. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, that's really cool. I, I kind of wonder what's going to go in the buildings, though, because I can't imagine that they're going to put a Lewis in both of those buildings. I doubt it. Oh, no, 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 no. They just bought the just... pharmacy assets. So Yeah, absolutely. Those buildings, let's see, it's Sioux Falls. So it's going to be a bank. Or a car dealership. <laughs> or, or something to do with booze. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Those are pretty much the options. Well, we got a furniture store now in the former Toys R Us. That was kind of nice. That is really cool. Too. Heidi's been, been in there. I've not. Is that, is that really that, cool. uh, Swedish thing? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What is it? Is Scandinavian, it? Scandinavian okay. Okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's what they should have called it. Is Scandinavian stuff. That's the kind of furniture stuff. that I like. I like that really. She does. Sleek, simplistic. She likes going stuff. to IKEA, and I like going because we'll go through and we'll walk through IKEA, and then at the end, I get a. I get, get a hot a treat. dog. It's like a, a mouse in a maze. You get when I'm done walking, it's like a hot dog. Have you been to an IKEA? Me? A lot of I, no, I no. could care less. So you walk <laughs> about you, you go no more than ten or fifteen feet before you have to turn right or left. It's just a giant puzzle. It's, it's like an a, amazing you turn, store. you walk, you turn, you walk, you turn. When you get to it, you get a hot dog. I think it's really kind of a cool thing. That's the payoff. Yeah, you get a hot dog at the end. You gotta buy the hot dog. I actually <laughs> how what? much are they? A dollar fifty? <laughs> What are this, you? What are you? What? What are you? What are you even saying? <laughs> At the end of furniture shopping, but they, you're saying you like this. It's good. They're good he hot dogs. Loves their hot and dogs. This. This is the kind he of goes loser with the I am. So he can have. Listen a hot to this, dog. Dan. My wife over here is supposed to. <laughs> I got a credit card. There, she was supposed to pay the payment before we left. <laughs> so we're in the Twin Cities. I buy a hot dog. It's a dollar fifty. I don't have cash on me. I use my debit card, and it was declined. <laughs> my credit For card. A- Buck and a half, dog. Yeah. So I used our company card. She's like, uh, I told her what I did. She's like, well, now we got to explain to our accountant. I was going to say, suddenly that that hot dog, is that a write-off? We don't know. I had to put a letter in there explaining, I'm a fat guy and I wanted my hot dog. Hey, I did the furniture maze. I get the hot dog. It's just the way it works. I enjoy shopping for nothing ever on any level. Oh, really? Oh, I could shop all day and buy nothing. I, I I like shopping for vehicles. That's about it. Oh, I could shop all day long nope. and not buy a single thing and be thrilled. It's not interest me. Me neither. Not my thing. I like to sit in the car and wait for her and then pretend I'm really mad that it took so long. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> and you're good at it. I'm honey. very good at that. <laughs> well, some kind of payoff at the end having to do with cheap meat. I was expl- – yeah. I think every time now when you, you – know, you- You've picked my interest there, John. I should, get, I should get a hot dog every time I wait in the car now. <laughs> All right, coming up, we've got entertainment news of the day. Between now and then, we're going to visit with Jeff Harding. He's with Prairie Real Estate Group. We're going to chat with him about technology and all the technology now uh, when you're buying a home. I'm going to, I'm excited to chat about that. It's on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. You're listening to the John and Heidi Show now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. What is that thing you're doing? It's technical. It's one of our little toys. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3. Time now for entertainment news of the day. Because we- celebrities are fabulous. <laughs> but this guy is, we're, we're all a huge fan. Gary Sinise is in the news. Oh, I love I Gary. I love Gary, Gary Sinise. Sinise. Love Lieutenant Gary Sinise. Dan. I want to give that now guy that, a that hug. Was, that was his big splash, the Lieutenant Dan thing. And how committed is that as, as an actor to actually have your legs amputated for a part? That was pretty. Pretty great. That don't think pretty he amazing. did John, that. Don't ruin my life, dude. <laughs> There's Seriously. a. I'm getting audio on this thing, and I shouldn't be. I don't know what's wrong. But That's I'm, all right. It's okay. Uh, Gary Sneeze recently uh, interviewed, and and you know what? He's so humble about it. He's so quiet about it. And it was a big news splash a few months ago. He literally sent there's a couple thousand kids and their families to uh, to Disneyland. Yeah, isn't that, that cool? Was so Sorry. beautiful. Who's who's uh, whose parents had been lost in action? Or yeah. Uh, military stuff. Listen to this. His foundation kicks out 
an annual average, and this is just giving to the troops in some way, shape, or form. Thirty million bucks. That's amazing. That cool? Thirty love million. It. Dollars. He is such a talented dude, and uh, he's got a new book out. And I actually reached out to him about doing a radio interview to talk about that book. So we may have Gary Sneese on the program one of these days. That's right. What what is the what is the title? I've got. Oh, uh, I don't remember. Uh, story. Well, okay, give me a second because I'm guessing I can find it. <laughs> he's Dan's catching up on his uh, Netflix viewing right now or something am, too. What I is am. going on over oh, there? I've got Donkey Kong <laughs> up on the screen. He's playing and, video games. Uh, Grateful He's, American. Grateful American. There we Grateful go. Grateful American by by uh, Gary Sinise. Yes. Well, I, I'm going to see if we can line up that interview. Uh, I've been I've been working on it. I've not heard back. Imagine that he hasn't called me back. None of these people ever call me back. <laughs> The good news is I actually have some awesome interviews that I get to do from time to time. Coming up here in a bit, we actually have our Movie Star Monday guest for today, and that is Kevin McDonald. He was on the TV program Kids in the Hall. Super he excited to visit with him. He was my favorite on Kids in the Hall. Do you I remember that show? Him. That was a huge show. I can remember oh, friends talking about it. it, and I don't believe I've ever caught an episode. It, it's oh, same producer, so funny. Lauren Michael, same guy that did Saturday Night oh, no Live. No kidding, okay. But yeah. it was done differently because it, I don't think it was live. I think it was all produced in advance, and uh, it was all... All men and on Dave the cast. Foley, they were my fate. Oh, so it was similar to Monty Python, where it was all men, and they would still have you know parts where there would be a female, and one of them would just dress as a female. Yeah, <laughs> so that, it's hilarious. <laughs> and they would talk like this. You couldn't even do that now. Somebody would get offended. It was very oh, funny. You could do that. I don't know now. if you could. It was very funny back then. But he's coming up later for our movie star Monday. Dan, thank you so much for chatting with us, man. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. Thanks for having me when no one else would. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's because we're just givers around here. You are. Where's this the is, tissue? This is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. You're listening to the John and Heidi Show. Now with an extra hour of fun. Featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3.